Come out with us and play Love Your London Have a banana Hello and welcome to a special Love Your London We are here at Jeff Wayne's musical version of War of the Worlds Now this is not the, the musical that is sort of like touring the world at the moment This is uh, something quite different this is another immersive experience you remember that we went to the van gogh and the alice in wonderland uh, exhibitions recently oh this is another immersive experience but this is all immersive it's 5d whatever that means i don't know what that means your 5d means i kind of do okay well i don't get, you've got to get down here oh i'm looking forward to this now these are really exclusive tickets now in the interests of transparency we did not pay for these tickets ourselves We'll talk a little bit more about ticket prices later. If you take a look at the ticket website, and the link is in the YouTube description below, you will see that some off-peak tickets go for as low as £50, and if you wish to book well in advance, you can get them for as little as £40. But at the end of this video, we're going to give you a special discount code where you can get a further 10% off, exclusive to Love Your London fans. We do not get any commission out of that, so our view of this experience and whether or not it is worth the money is going to be 100% honest. So this is a real coup for Love Your London. Fantastic and thank you to uh, everyone involved in helping us get these tickets. Now let me tell you a little bit about War of the Worlds first. It was back in 1898 when the fantastic novelist H.G. Wells wrote a science fiction treat called War of the Worlds. And basically it all started off because um, H.G. Herbert was chatting with his brother, I think his name was Frank, but I may be wrong, um, about the effect that the British had on the Tasmanian First Nations people. Um, and, uh, and, and was wondering what would happen if uh, Martians were to come and, uh, and invade us. Um, so that's, that started off a book and of course it became, I mean it's, it's, never, it's always been in, in print ever since, it's a hugely popular book and a fantastic piece of literature. Uh, then back in 1938, uh, you, I'm sure you've heard this story, um, Orson Welles uh, did a famous radio uh, reading uh, of the play, of, 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 of it, on uh, CBS radio, uh, Colum uh, Columbia Broadcast Radio. And, uh, and, and, so, and, so they, and so that sort of created a mass panic because not everyone caught the start of the show. Um, so they tuned in and they thought that there really was a, a Martian invasion happening. Um, it's, it's disputed as to how much the panic was, how much of that was uh, drummed up by the media. There was certainly a lot of panic. I mean, a lot of people, I think the police even came to the, to the, to the radio studio at one point to ask them to, to turn it off. Um, but um, and there was, there, was this, there was this one town I think called Concrete in America, which uh, at the same time happened to have a um, a power outage, so no one could call anyone or, or, or get in touch with anyone to let them know that in fact it was fake news, if you want to call it that. That was the other major moment in uh, the story's uh, history. Uh, then in 1978, a guy called Jeff Wayne. Uh, that's his name up there. He created a rock opera um, based on it with um, I mean, Richard Burton and a load of other famous people were reading uh, and, and it, was a rock, it was a rock opera and uh, that record which uh, by the way there's going to be links on your screen if you click on them you get taken to an Amazon page and uh, you'll get them at a good price and we get a little cut as well so that's always very useful uh, these sort of things really help us because if you want to help us um, you can be our patron uh, that costs a couple of quid a, uh, a month um, and there's links on your screen there um, but uh, if you really I mean you could just just share these videos make sure they're on your social media um, click that notification bell when you subscribe as well comment on these videos as well that all helps with the YouTube algorithms share you know like like that's really important as well like these videos um, and uh, yeah so basically as I was saying 1978 that was the rock opera um, since then it's been turned into TV movies there was a film with Tom Cruise a few years ago as well Anyway, it's also a musical that's gone on stage, but this is the immersive experience. This is going to be something quite exciting. Now, we're going to be, I'm not sure exactly how much we're going to be able to show you inside. Hopefully we'll be able to show you some footage in a minute of what we, what we experienced, but come back and we'll tell you all about it and whether it would be worth the money. I'm pretty sure it's going to be really worth the money. I mean, 
I've seen the reviews. I've not, tried not to read too much about it. So what's going to happen is at three o'clock, apparently there's going to be some red smoke and uh, we are going to be ushered into that door over there. Uh, so looking forward to that. We're just going to show you a little bit of footage around the place. They've done it up really nicely as you can see. There he is, it's Herbert himself. Some nice sort of 3D art. Victory, Martian, ah, oh, there we go, there's some smoke. That's blue smoke, that's not for us. We're, we're waiting for the red smoke. Of course, there's merchandising as well. You get photos and t-shirts and hoodies and all the usual, thermo, thermo flask and a mini tote bag and obviously you can have your photos on the survivors found uh, page it's really good it's really well organized this it's a great venue i don't, I don't know this Okay, so they were survivors apparently, so we'll be survivors soon. The look on their faces looked like they really, had really enjoyed it. No sort of like unhappy faces there at all. So, are you excited? I think that is a girl who is excited. Red. Red. That's what, red, that's us, red. Oh. We have a Now to turn off any phones, Apple watches, any filming devices before we go through. You can use them in the interval bar, but please do remember to switch them off during the show itself. And that okay. Well. okay, well there you go. We've been told that we have to turn everything off, so we'll tell you all about it now. We couldn't actually film inside and it will be immediately apparent why once you actually do it for yourselves. We also couldn't use the original Jeff Wayne soundtrack for copyright reasons, so what you're listening to is Max Styron's excellent version, full link is in the YouTube description. The whole experience lasts two hours and you are taken on a journey in which you meet a dozen or so real actors helping you escape the Martian invasion. At key points in the narrative, you you have to wear VR goggles to really throw you into the metaverse. Plus, there is, of course, a chance midway to down a swift pint. And before long, it was our turn to re-enter the bar as survivors. Hey! There you go, that was our turn. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I'll tell you all about it now. Wow, amazing, amazing. That's a choice, dude. That was amazing. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Wow, Whew. that was brilliant. That was absolutely fantastic. I, I'm a huge fan of um, immersive theatre. I, my yardstick. My, um, the thing I compare everything to when you, when you, I mean, there's lots of stuff out there which have done the Mercer Theatre, but for me, uh, my, my yardstick is, um, is, is Punch Drunk. Um, I, Punch Drunk is just amazing. So everything I go that's sort of immersive, I compare it to Punch Drunk. Um, and for the first, for the first 20 minutes of it, it was on a par with, with Punch Drunk, which is really high praise for me. Um, but then, once you put the headsets on, and I don't want to give too much away, 
But once you put those headsets on, that is the best immersive virtual reality experience I have ever experienced. I understand now what they mean by 5D. My God, do I understand? Uh, that is definitely the best, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, so it surpassed all my expectations. I'm afraid to say it's better than Punch Drunk. It's better than all those shows, which were, which were. I mean, they're, they're delightful in their own way because you can sort of follow just one actor around if you want. Uh, you're not herded um, following the uh, following a crowd. But it's apart from that. Apart from the, so you haven't got the autonomy that you get in a Punch Drunk show. You maybe don't have the same level of interaction, though there is quite a bit of interaction. Punch Drunk, which, as we said, has been our yardstick for excellence in immersive theatre for the past 20-odd years, has a brand new production starting next month in Woolwich called The Burnt City, based around the fall of Troy. As this will be their first major production in eight years, we are buzzing about this. Hopefully, Love Your London will be there to review it, but will it be better than War of the Worlds? We'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, I don't want to give too much away, that's the thing, it's, it's so special and um, I didn't read anything up about it beforehand obviously I know all about um, War, War of the Worlds and the, and the novel and and, and, the, and the, the, the amazing music uh, but I didn't know anything about the show apart from 5D whatever that was now I know um, so I don't really want to spoil it for you but I can, if you want to go to, to it you can use a special code LYL10 that's LYL10 and that will give you 10% discount uh, just for our, our, our viewers. 10% um, discount for all off-peak tickets. I think that's every day apart from Saturday. It's brilliant. Um, and uh, you're going to love it. You're just going to love it. Um, I'm lost for words. And I don't really want to give anything away. So, love your London. We're, we're now going to go and have a, another drink in here. Where is she? There she is. That was fantastic. Final, final closing thoughts? It's one of the top uh, experiences of that sort of ilk that I've been to. It really was. I, it was comfortable and entertaining. And for someone like me, that means a lot. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Same absolutely. here. I agree. I concur. Fantastic. Well, get in here. It's uh, booking until May. Um, and as I said, it's probably going to go on and on and on. Maybe for years. Maybe this is going to be a... Uh, uh, you know, one of those things that, that, that keeps going on because they're, they're, it's not like definitely finishing in May, it's just they're booking until May and they'll carry on booking uh, uh, as demand is required. Anyway, thank you, love you, London. See you later, see you at the next adventure. Bye! From Act Town to Wimbledon, from Brixton to Beyond, love your London, have a banana.